YouTube. And a good morning it is. I had my coffee this morning and I read Morgan's blog. So if you haven't had the opportunity to read Morgan's blog, she asks, she says, this week I challenge everybody to think of 10 things they're thankful for. And after reading that, I'm like, wow, I'm having a beautiful morning. I'm thankful for lots of things. Maybe I should just YouTube my day and share with you guys how freaking awesome my life is. Anyways, in my car, on my way to the office, going to coach some posing, doing a workout with some awesome chicks. I'm gonna film it for you guys, and then I'm gonna come home, have a nice Sunday with Robbie, and make some nice Thanksgiving dinner. So lots to be thankful for and lots to share. And let's just note that I totally got makeup on myself. I got ready really fast this morning. So, ha, huh, that's better. Okay guys, let's have a wicked day. Come along with me, enjoy the ride, see what I'm thankful for. Thanksgiving video, starting. I just finished a workout with the competition prep girls. So you can see we did posing and then we had a little chit chat, had some food and then we did a group workout. So one thing I'm super thankful for obviously is being able to spend time with a group of individuals who have the same goals and passions as I do. So I know that it's not very common that everyone has a support system like that or has friends that says Sunday morning one, what I wanna do, let's get together and work out. So I know that I'm blessed to be able to have the job that I do and the clients that I do and the friends that I do. So that's definitely something I'm thankful for today. Another thing I'm thankful for is my fiance Robbie who is making dinner right now inside my house. So I'm super excited to go in there and enjoy Thanksgiving dinner with my fur babies and my big baby, Robbie. So that's what I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna bring you guys along. Some veggies, wine and calorie free iced tea, stuffing, sweet potatoes, okay. spaghetti squash and cranberry sauce for us too. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Do you want Thanksgiving dinner too? Oh, you're a nice puppy. So this is what happens after turkey dinner. You're with your baby. But are you full too? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you're done so. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh thank you. going to pick this turkey apart and clean up this kitchen because Robbie did slave all day to make me that turkey dinner so what a nice fella but he went to the gym to work it off I did my workout before so now it's my turn to clean up this disaster which is fine because he's definitely the chef between the two of us and I think I'm better at cleaning to be honest and sometimes I'm okay with that so I like to put podcasts on and just kind of jam out when I'm in the kitchen and or learn something depends what kind of mood I'm in 
if you guys have any good podcasts that you like to listen to. I do like things that are kind of like about success or business, motivation, fitness. If you know me and you've been following me, you could probably think of podcasts that you think I'd like. If you do have any suggestions, comment below. I'd love to hear and I will for sure try them out and I'll give you my feedback. I am conserving a lot of turkey for this week and you can use turkey for a lot of things. If you guys have any suggestions for me, let me know what your favorite thing to do with leftover turkey is. Um, just some suggestions, you could use like some chicken broth or vegetable broth and make a soup with it, so that's always good. Uh, I like to put it on top of toast with avocado or cheese, super good. I also use it obviously for toppings on my salad, so lots of options for turkey. It's just as lean as chicken, so it's good for you. Protein, lean protein. If you're not a vegetarian or a vegan, I highly suggest freezing your turkey so you can have it in individual little baggies, grab and go, easy to meal prep, and that's exactly what I'm doing here. See? Pulling it apart, yucky stuff's gonna go in there, and the good stuff I'm gonna conserve here. And I may be eating a little bit as we go, dipping it in this cranberry sauce, because I can't get enough. Mm. So while I'm on this turkey kick right now, it got me thinking about something maybe I should explain to you guys. The question being, does turkey make you tired? I want to explain to you guys because I love chemistry, so maybe I can explain to this in uh, a good way. Oh my god, my tripod's being so bad right now. Sorry. Is tryptophan is actually something that's found inside turkey and it's a bulky amino acid. So it's a big amino acid, it's essential, meaning you get it from your food. And what happens is tryptophan is a precursor, meaning it's used as a reactant, like it's a it's something that comes before serotonin hormone in, in a chemical reaction. So you use tryptophan in order to make serotonin, meaning if you increase the tryptophan, obviously the serotonin production is going to increase. Serotonin is a hormone that's responsible for slow wave sleep. It's also responsible for making people happy. That's It's known as the happy hormone and that's why I actually have it tattooed on my arm. So how cool is that? So serotonin is responsible for slow wave sleep, meaning if you just increase tryptophan from turkey and you have an empty stomach and you haven't eaten anything else, then yes, maybe you could attribute that increase in serotonin to the turkey. But when you eat a big turkey dinner, you are consuming a ton of protein from a lot of different sources. So when you're getting a ton of other amino acids and a ton of other protein from your meal, the chances of that turkey's tryptophan actually crossing the blood-brain barrier, and remember I said it was a bulky um, molecule, so it's even harder to get across. So basically, it's not going to. Turkey on its own is not going to make you tired, but when you eat a large ass meal, your intestines expand, it makes you drowsy, all the blood diverts away from your brain in order to help those intestines out, because they're like, man, I'm struggling, like, I'm expanded, they've digested so much bloody food, they don't even know when to stop, and like, holy shit, here comes the cake. Or, you might have some alcohol with your meal, which is essential nervous depressant, so the opportunity of that making you sleepy is very high. Stop hating on the turkey and saying it making you sleepy because it's not going to. That's my answer. <laughs> Spoiled. The ones who have seen. What if you could live to be a hundred years old? I can't say go. Oh, yeah. Winner, winner, turkey dinner. What'd you think of? I can't tell you. What? I'll be So I am finishing my beautiful Sunday off with some reading. This is the book I'm reading right now. Would I suggest it as of right now? Yes, but I'm only on page 56. So we still got lots of reading to do, but. So far, so good. In bed, my favorite shoes, hanging out with Louie while Robbie takes a shower, and then bedtime. Drinking my tea. Yep, made myself a London fog. It's amazing. And my book. Can't get much better than that, guys. <sighs> good night. See you in the morning. <laughs>